Capricorn. Hey, welcome to my channel, Two Hearts, One Soul, 1111 Tarot. I'm here to do your reading. Okay, I pulled you a, a Oracle card, Quantum Oracle, and, and I got Deception. Capricorn, with this card coming out, uh, this I feel like it's a little bit past energy event that happened in the past, but I am going to make it to where aware for anybody else because this may be so, a present moment for some of you guys. You guys may have someone like that's betraying you or trying to be manipulative. And it could be someone that's close to you that really don't have your best interests at heart. OK, so just keep out for that. And they may be working against you behind your back like the uh, card shows. Um, also, this could be like a person at work, a friend, a family member. It could also be a love relationship. And this card also speaks of um, a legal situation. So if you guys are in some anything legal then someone maybe not revealing everything that like all the evidence that they may have or just information is being hidden from you. OK, <clears throat> this could also be just like um, like negative thoughts you may have about yourself, like I can't do this or maybe this is not coming. And it is. And the reason I say that is because underneath the deck, I got true love. So I feel like for some of you, this was a um, past love situation and dark thoughts. And even while shuffling your energy, the one thing that I got to just to be for you guys aware, what I have that I just wanted to remind you of, that you're manifesting. Your manifestation skills are strong right now. So if you, the things that you want are coming, and I see for a lot of you is stability, buying a new home, car, just worrying about your uh, actual physical stability, a stable relationship. And those things are possible. It's just be aware of your thinking while you're manifesting because you don't want to... Um, I seen this dark thought card and this card uh, reminds us that sometimes if we like while we're manifesting, if we ha are having those dark thoughts that can actually become a reality again. And whatever cycle this was for you, this is why I feel like this is past energy. That's over. So the, wor the worst is over. You're in a whole nother cycle where you're able to really create what you really want. So just take that heed to like whatever happened in the past. Now you can kind of move on from that. Close them chapters. Then we're gone. Now it's time to manifest and think and focus our intentions on what we really do want um, to come into our physical reality. Because I've seen a lot of pentacles for you, Capricorn. And to me, that symbolizes that the things that you're manifesting are finna start actually being fruitful. You're going to start seeing them in your physical reality. And um, if true love is something that you really, really want, then don't lie to yourself and say that you you don't want it and I'm just saying it because of just putting the everything together okay if that's something you really want hold that intention because I've seen the um the four of pentacles so hold on to that intent and know that you deserve it and you can have it so let's get into this reading Capricorn there you go queen of pentacles see that's that uh physical manifestation that's you knowing your value your worth you are the queen of pentacles you can nurture anything you want with this card coming out and oh, there you go again, the devil card, this symbolizes you. You may have been, uh, things may have been on hold for a while, but uh, just know that this will is turning and you will get your karma, karmic justice, especially with that. Anyone who's wrongdoing, especially with this justice card coming out and this uh, actual card speaking of that, if there is something legal, it will come to the surface or you, it, things will work out in your favor. Let's keep going. Okay, we got the four pentacles. That's holding that intention and the um, temperance. I feel like that's saying like just having that peace of mind that and knowing that what you want, you really can have. Yep, because you're in empress mode. And then I see ten of pentacles under there. So if that's your desire, just kind of hold on to it and it can come for you. Uh, two of pentacles. So you're no longer going in and out with your manifestations with this two of pentacles. Like things may have been rough for you for a while where you were trying to juggle a lot and things kind of got a little messed up. This could even be like work and home life. But uh, all of that is changing. Pay attention to your intuition, too, because you're getting intuitive uh, insights on how to achieve your dreams. You see the six of wands. That's what I was talking about in the chariot. So if you allow your intuition to kind of push you forward, it'll take you exactly where you uh, want to go. You know, your intuition is your higher self and it sees the things that you need to change about yourself are like the challenges that you may be facing. And by listening to your intuition, you can use that to kind of get exactly what you want. Let's clarify this queen of pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups, 
That could be a, a stabilization of emotions. This could also be intuitive. This can also be someone else love coming in for you. The seven of wands. There's still a sense of being guarded. And that's a, and the seven of wands to me also symbolize, uh, symbolize holding that intent for what you want. Like staying your ground. It doesn't have to be in a defensive way. If things come against you, I got to fight back. It could be more, this is what I want and this is what I'm going for with the Knight of Cups. Okay. And just uh, getting this three of wands energy where you see what you want. You guys, some of you guys could be traveling too, but you see what you want. You see that you do want a soulmate connection where in the past things may have ended, especially with this 10 of swords harshly. But you, this is what you want. You want someone that's more trustworthy and won't betray you. But beware of the negative thoughts too. Four of pentacles, please. The king of cups. So see, now this went from a knight of cups to a king of cups. So holding that intent of manifesting somebody that's emotionally mature. This could be you. Um, you've been holding back from a lot of individuals too, just to like work on your emotions and to get yourself in a better place. And then you got the four of wands wanting that. You may spend a lot of time thinking about how can I manifest the ultimate stability that you need. But with this ace of swords here and that intuition card coming out, Pay attention to if you get like an epiphany, something that just pops up in your head, because that could very well be the answer you need to move forward. OK, and then we got the seven of swords. So maybe you had just withdrawn from talking to people or just withdrew your emotions. For these of you, you may have a love relationship, especially with this deception and the seven of swords that came out in the past that you kind of been holding on to like what they did and what happened, especially with dark thoughts and true love. This could have been someone you really loved. <clears throat> I do see that this person is going to try to come back and change this situation uh, for those of you that's for, but just moving all together, just moving forward and finding forgiveness uh, for anything of your past. So it won't hold you back and you can move forward and get the, the um, just have a peace, peace of mind, regardless of anything that happened in the past. And I'm not, not belittling what happened in the past because sometimes it do be kind of like a uh, harsh or just like something that kind of, you know, since you full loop, especially if you thought this was somebody that's a true love, but just kind of releasing that energy so you can bring in that actual true love that you want. Let's count. Let's see what the temperance is. That five of wands, conflicting energies, like wanting that peace, but just something just like them thoughts keep creeping up the five of swords. So it was like a hardship you were going through. And it affected you like deep down in your soul is what I'm feeling and like your mental uh, state, too. And it could have been a lot of deception, <clears throat> a deception and repressed emotions. And when this card comes out, I always talk about that sometimes that about the emotions you may be holding on to deep down inside. Sometimes we're not even aware of that. So you may have took some time to withdraw, draw to get your peace of mind and uh, get things back in order. The hangman took some time to withdraw to kind of look at things in different or this could be a suggestion also for some of you, because what you actually want is the ten of cups. And that's what you've been working hard, working hard on yourself. And then another eight here, eight of wands moving forward, just trying to move forward in life and just persevere is what I'm getting. And you're getting there. Eight, eight, that's abundance, uh, new opportunities, having the strength to keep going, even though things were kind of hard. Also been working on yourself and making sure you're in a good place, planting seeds, the seeds that you do want. A lot of this talks about um, just the ma manifesting what you actually want and focus your intention on that. And yeah, maybe people as the seed for around you, but that's um, that's their karma. Like, let's work. I want I'm, I'm just getting a, you working on what you really want and just kind of like focusing your intent on that. Let's see why the two of pentacles in reverse. So you were going back and forth with something and you finally got that clarity that you needed to, to kind of move forward uh, from the past. Or you start seeing things a lot clearer than you did in the uh, past is another thing I'm getting here. I feel like you've been on a long journey, though, and it's kind of like that. It's like 
with the five of pentacles, why aren't things working? And that could be uh, why uh, the divine is bringing this message in. It's like um, them, them dark thoughts, excuse me, those dark thoughts kind of make it um, comes back like to where it's manifesting, but it kind of pushes it away because now we're getting into a place where we guard it. That way, if, if the, say this is love that you want to manifest, if if the dark thoughts are there, if that true love did come in, like you probably will put a guard up because um, of what happened to you in the past. And that may be the reason why the divine is bringing this to your attention. Just like beware of it because they're there. You have angels there, spirit, your guys there, God the universe, whatever you believe in, have there to help you. Just call on their strength when you um, don't feel like you can do it alone. Because I know sometimes when you get in your head mentally, it's a little difficult to kind of get out of those that thought process. Let's see, two of pentacles, please. Six of cups. This could have been a soulmate connection. Yeah, something about this you're not seeing clearly. Or this person isn't. For some of you, it could be like a co communication. is what's like a blockage in uh, something that... Or a thought process. It could be a thought process with the uh, Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. Maybe just being closed off due to the heartbreak. But you will be releasing all those energies, especially this Five of Pentacles under there. All those energies, if you just keep going, because maybe you're at a point to where you're like, I'm tired. And if you if you keep going, what it's saying is that all these, you will be releasing all these energies and getting into energies you do want. You see the chariot under there and then the Six of Pentacles, actually the strength card. So it'll be, it, it will get to a point to where all these energies subside, the, the more lower energies that you don't really want. And then you'll get to a place where uh, other energies come in. Just be mindful of the company you keep with the de deception card there. Yep, there go the new beginning. <laughs> the new beginning where you'll get a, a surge, a, a good positive energy coming into your life. And this could be a romantic connection for some of you guys. That's something that's more passionate, um, basically, especially with the Page of Cups. It could be a new relationship that is coming in. And that's why the divine wants you to bring this down. Because you also have the Ten of Wands, which will be letting down those burdens from the past. The things that's kind of holding us back so we can get exactly what it is we want in life. Anything else, divine? The moon. You have something coming you don't really see coming. And you probably have a lot of faith because uh, I keep looking at these moon uh, cycles up here. So the moon cycles might affect your emotions a lot, too. But you will be uh, kind of getting releasing all these emotions you do have inside of you. If you have been feeling like these urges to kind of like purge. And but what it's doing is causing that release. So you can trust in this and go a whole different direction than what you were. Excuse me, the train. And you do have some clarity coming with this page of swords. Also, for those who want to know, someone you walked away from is considering rec reconciling and healing this situation. But for most of all, you just kind of um, getting a renewal of self. Some of you guys probably been going through an awakening and um, just healing from all those things of the past. So you can start over. And have a new beginning because you also you have the ace of wands and the ace of swords so this new beginning would be truthful and passionate and i feel like it's going to open you up to emotionally too if you've been closed off emotionally that's what the divine is working on they're saying don't give up just keep going with this nine of wands yep and then at the bottom of the deck because it eventually leads you to to the sun card, your ultimate happiness. And this is where this will make all this, this nine of wands energy worth going toward, worth going through just to get here. Put those down and release the emotions. And then that's what comes out. The clarity you need, happiness, prosperity, uh, just bless bl relationships that are blessed and all the things you really want. But it starts with love with the queen of cups that starts with love. 
and nurturing yourself, making sure that even if you want a lot financially and emotionally, it all begins with you seeing your worth and your value. And then you come to this 10 of pentacles right here. It is going to take some strength. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the Leo in the past, or you could have Leo in your chart. It is going to take some strength, but um, you will get there. You will ultimately get to the sun. Even these things like deceptions and that stuff, it eventually leave because uh, there's no room for deception with the sun. You'll have a complete clarity over all that. Things will transform because now I'm being called to look at the butterflies. So things will transform to ultimately what you want. And if a family is what you desire, then that possibility could be there. Okay, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.